Yo, hey there, Kevin. Not only is, is the union president saying that they're at their breaking point and citizens should be concerned because their lives are at risk because of these ongoing issues, but also the lives of first responders. They are down about a third of their workforce, um, which not only puts um, our members' lives at risk when they're responding to emergencies, but uh, most importantly, it puts the citizens of Grandview at risk. A fire department in distress as more firefighters and paramedics say goodbye to Grandview. A situation that festered over the last many months. Now in recent weeks, it's reached an all new level of concern. They're at the breaking point where they're losing so many people that they're having trouble staffing the proper amount of apparatus and ambulances that are needed. The main concern for Heisman and those he represents are the wages and now the conditions they are forced to work under. For example, there are times when there isn't enough personnel to respond to certain emergencies. You had to evaluate this on a crisis level. Of uh, I would say we're up into the eight, nine range at this point. Um, they're hemorrhaging so many employees that they're not going to be able to um, fully staff these fire trucks and ambulances pretty soon. Working for you, we reached out to the city. The mayor said in part, the city's attorneys and city representatives are meeting with union representatives this week to discuss the best steps for moving forward. Grandview Fire Department is staffed and capable of addressing emergencies. When you have less than what is required, um, there's a lot more stress on the firefighters and some of the tasks take a lot longer to do. Now, this is not a contract year, but because of this ongoing crisis, they are reopening that contract. Starting tomorrow, the city and the union will be negotiating again to alleviate these concerns. The hope is that this problem will be resolved soon. To read the mayor's full response, you can do that by going on fox4kc.com and clicking on this story. Kevin.